Hey guys, welcome to another episode of our Tiny Cabin Project. And today, I'm climbing trees and acting like a nature-loving hippie because if you did not know, I am a nature-loving hippie. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Cat the tree. I love you, tree. So it was at the beginning of the year that I threw some old oyster mushrooms at the bottom of this tree. And I'm not sure if it's coincidence, but I'm out here looking today and I find a nice little patch of fresh oysters hidden up here. It appears to be the only spot it's growing on the tree, but I'm going to harvest them with my trusty mushroom knife. That's a really nice patch. Very interesting. And then for anybody who's just getting into mushroom harvesting, I leave patches of the mushroom where I cut them from. I don't go all the way against the tree. That way they will reproduce and come back next season. So we're gonna get these cleaned up and make sure to get an absolutely positive identification on these. Take some spore prints, but I'm 99% confident that these are oysters. Okay guys, uh, so we just got a positive ID on these mushrooms and they are in fact oyster mushrooms. Um, anybody who is new to mushroom hunting or even more experienced, I highly recommend this book. Um, it's a cheap little book but it's um, All That the Rain Promises and More. It's very fun, it gives you extremely detailed pictures um, and a variety of pictures of different types of mushrooms and all the information by them. Uh, so these are oysters. They grow shelf-like on dead trees, logs, or stumps. Uh, they're medium cap-sized. The gills are white, or at least pale, running all the way down the stalk, if the stalk is present. Some of these, the stalk is present, and some of them it's not. Uh, their, their flesh is fairly thick. Their gills are broad, sometimes yellowish or grayish in age. Uh, for edibility, they're delicious grilled or fried. It's very popular and it's now grown commercially. One thing this book points out is that if you're out and you find a log that has oyster mushrooms on it, you can bring the whole log home and put it in your garden. And as long as you keep it moist and cool, you can harvest the oyster mushrooms off of them regularly because once they hit the wood, they will always come back as long as you don't completely pull out the variants of them. So, we're gonna get these washed up 
grow up and get eaten.